Hi, I'm Chris Gardner with your tip of the day from Practical Help for Your Digital Life. You can find all my tips on my website, and I post lots of them on Facebook, iTunes, and YouTube. I hope you'll join my member-supported website where you can also get tip sheets with helpful links and detailed how-tos. Please join today. Today's tip is about solving problems with battery-powered devices. Smartphones, cordless telephones, electric shavers, remote controls, garage door opener clickers. We're surrounded by tons of little devices and they all run on batteries. So here's a simple but often overlooked tip on what to do when they don't work very well. Just change the battery. Likely when you got a new device with standard batteries, they're the cheapest kind. So you want to replace those. Some of them use rechargeable batteries, but in both cases, your batteries have a limited lifespan in terms of how long they'll last or how many times you can drain them down and charge them back up. For rechargeables, you can usually get two to three years of normal use, but this can vary widely. Most times, after a couple years of regular use, you'll find they don't hold as much juice and they don't last as long before they need recharging. This is normal, but it's easy to forget about this. Frankly, I have no idea how old the batteries are in most of my devices. The good news is that replacement batteries are usually pretty inexpensive, so follow my tip. If you find your rechargeable needs to be charged more often and doesn't last as long, just replace the batteries, and then you'll have fewer things to distract you from using your devices. For standard batteries that aren't rechargeable, the shelf life of these batteries is usually longer, but since they can't be recharged, you have to replace them when they get low. For things like smoke detectors, TV remotes, and other things you need to be working well always, just decide on one day each year and replace them all at once. That's easier than replacing each one when it runs out of juice. Murphy's Law says that your battery will fail just when you need it to work most and also when you don't happen to have replacements lying around. Now our cell phones, smartphones, and laptop batteries can be another matter. They can be darn expensive to replace. And in some cases, you can't replace the battery yourself. iPhone, I'm talking to you. Same for some Android smartphones. That may be why phone companies are so big on two-year contracts for discounts on smartphones. I guess they figure in two years you're going to want to replace it anyway with the latest and greatest, so why bother to make the battery replaceable? But if you're on a budget, replacing a battery can be a lot cheaper than buying a new phone, even if you have to take it to a professional. But for the most part, batteries for your small devices are quite inexpensive, so just replace them when they don't perform as well as they used to. As always, my members can grab my printable tip sheet and get more detail and links to resources I've mentioned here. And if you find my tips useful, please share them with your friends. Clicking the like button is great also. And don't forget to become a member of Practical Help for Your Digital Life. Thanks for watching.